Okay, guys. Um, let me check this. All right. Okay. It is sprinkling outside. Smells wonderful. Spring is sprung down here in Texas. Everything is green and growing. Can you see that? It's beautiful out there, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. We're doing really well. I think we've got about five, six more weeks on the house, and then we get it up for sale, and then we'll be headed up to the northeast to pick up Jonathan. Oh, and, uh, yeah, pick up, pick up Jonathan. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about today is, or I'm going to try to talk today, is we're going to hit time again. Um, and I'm going to say it a little bit differently from the standpoint that you know that you're a god, and this is a game, and really, I you shouldn't have any question about whether or not time exists or not. I, I think there's been even enough, enough um, information out there from your scientists uh, to explain that linear time space is an illusion now the, the problem is you don't understand what that means but to just say that part time linear time space is an illusion is a start it is a beginning and it is extremely difficult to understand the concept of now time i would encourage you to not think too hard about everything being in the now. It is like trying to think of what infinity means. There's going to be a shut-off point. You just don't understand how it works. And by using, by being in linear time space, it makes it almost impossible to explain how not now time works. But if you could just begin with that linear time space is an illusion and that you've always been and you always will be and you're a god and you could do anything then we could start looking at how time works a little bit at a time and the more you can look at it and understand it the more that you can um, play with it the more that you can play with it the more you can let's say collapse it and just like we defractaled a lot of the energies to fold the vibrations of fear and anger into the higher vibrations, uh, and they just kind of, they're still there, but they aren't separated. So they're a part of that next layer up. You can do the same thing with time. You can collapse time. You can move back and forth within time. Uh, it's not that hard. I love that feel of that, but it is getting me all wet. <laughs> okay, so let's see how I do that. Oh, let's start over at the beginning. Okay, how time works is we're going to talk. We're going to talk about forward and backward in time. Okay. And right now is a good time to talk about that because of the COVID-19 virus. So I can show you via that one how time is created here. Okay, so I've kind of done this before. Here is, this is everything. This is the all that is. And what you do in time is you say, I'm going to take this part. I'm going to take a part of the all that is, and I'm only going to perceive this part of the all that is. 
And this part of the all that is, in my case, is I created, or I took a part of it, the all it is, in this moment, and I've got me. This is me. And I said, in this now moment, I'm going to be me, with a big smile on my face, and a cowboy hat. wet from being rained on. And I'm going to be in a bus that I converted into a home. And outside it's raining. And the grass And the flowers are blooming. There are clouds in the sky. Okay, all of that over here is my little pup pup in a little pile, puppy. All of these things that are around me that you see around you, that is all a part of the all that is in this now moment. And you've chosen to pull out the things that are around you in this now moment, and you're going to look at them, and this is all mixed into the all that is. Oh. So you took out these little dots and you put them together, you squish them together, and you look through them through your five senses, you experience these things out of the all it is in this moment through this skin suit and your five senses, and you create this now moment with these things, okay? Then each moment, each split second after that, where I went like this, okay, everything changes. And I took different things, and now I move, and I raise my hands, and I opened my eyes big. I took different information out of the all that is, in the now moment, and I perceived them right after this moment, and made it look like I moved. The, it's starting to get darker. So I'm perceiving out of all that is that the outside is looking darker through the perception. Another bit of information out of the all that is that I'm looking at right after. I'm, I'm doing it very fast, like a billion times a second. I'm making these adjustments. And all I'm doing is having now moment, now moment, now moment, now moment, one right after the other so fast that it looks like I am moving through time and space. But I'm really not. I'm just taking different parts of the all that is, putting, looking at them really, really fast, one right after the other, to make it appear that I am moving through time and space. And I've done this analogy before. It's like the olden days in those old reel-to-reel -reel movies where they had the big tape, the, the uh, movie tape went through this machine down here, and this film went down and was red, put in a light. There was a light bulb here, and the light bulb shines this way, and this film has one picture, and another picture, and another picture, and another picture, one right after the other, for the whole thing. And then it runs it through here really fast, so that it makes it look like there are people up on the stage that are moving all over the place, doing all kinds of things. But that's not what's happening. What's happening is you're seeing single now moment pictures 
but you're seeing them so quickly that it gives the illusion that these people, places and things, are going through time and space. And that's what you're doing. It's what you're doing every day, all day. In linear time space. Because of that, that's how you get law of attraction, which is simply me creating, a creator God creating. It's just creation. Instant creation. The law of attraction becomes law of attraction because you have to take this creation and put it into this illusion. The illusion of time and space. And that's how law of attraction becomes such a big deal. Not only that, but 25 years ago, this illusion of time and space was much, much slower. Much, much slower. Moved much slower. It's moving much faster now. Much faster. I think back in, uh, when I was about 20, it took about... Oh, man. When I was 20, it probably took 30 seconds to create something. Right now, we're down to, well, right this particular moment, this particular time, we're down to 1.2, 1 1.2.3 uh, seconds before something's created. It's very, very, very fast now. That's what happens when you get closer and closer to instant manifestation, which is 5D. That's 5D, but you have to be able to instantly create. That is another reason, going back to the last video, it's another reason why we need to spread out and get back into our communities. Is that with instant manifestation, you cannot just uh, pop off and be angry at somebody. You need to be able to work within a system of people and places, things, animals, weather, without blowing your top. Because with instant manifestation, things are manifested instantly. So there cannot be any, um, you know, uh, road rage. No road rage allowed in 5D. So you have to get along with everybody. You have to smooth it out. You have to be able to go with the flow. You have to be able to move and groove amongst without getting um, upset about it. That there's a way to get everything done so everybody gets what they want. There, there, there is. Uh, the geckos and the pigeons will tell you otherwise, and they will do their darndest to con convince you that there isn't a way for everybody on this planet to have everything they want, but that is simply not true. There absolutely is. And the more the people who grow to believe that, who grow into these groups to work together, then they are the ones that will raise their vibration and be on a planet where there's instant manifestation. Those of you who do not believe it, uh, aren't interested in it, that's no problem. There are alternate planets and alternate Earths all over the place for you to go to inhabit. It's all good. Uh, there's a place for everybody. So ultimately, everybody does and always has gotten exactly what they wanted. It's just that uh, a lot of it you don't realize that you created it or that you planned for it before you even got here. Now let's go the other direction with it. This is forward in time space, what I just said. That's forward in time space. It's just as easy to create backwards in time as it is forward. And I'll give you an example because we've got a good one here. Okay, so what happened is all of the sudden out of wherever it came first, and I'm not gonna argue with anybody about that, we would just say China. Wherever it started at, we're going to say China. And China came down with this virus. And this virus was very contagious, and it made people sick, and some people died. And so then it spread out over the whole world. Went to the whole world. Now it's not China. It's in the whole world. Okay, now the question is, at this point in the game, how did that happen? Who's responsible? 
This is how you create backwards. Now, scientists don't realize that this is what's happening and what has always happened, but this is the way it works, which is the reason why people who are really intense on, on knowing the answer They frequently are right, because what will happen here, and we're going to use, um, we're going to use, we're going to use one that nobody hopefully will be mad, bad, mad at, and we're going to say that there was a bat in China that carries the virus. And there was a freak storm that caused the bats to be confused, and the bats flew to uh, uh, another area to another area that they no, aren't normally from and they mated with a different kind of bat and transferred the virus from one bat to the other. Now the first bat does not pass the virus onto humans but when they moved and, and mated with these new bats these do transfer um, they had a they had a virus in them that transferred to humans, and this virus jumped on this virus, and these bats handed it to the humans, and then the humans started passing it back and forth. Okay, that's one story. Okay, now another story is um, uh, one country, a bad country let go a bioweapon and attacked China with it. Another one is China attacked another country that had been attacking them and they needed to defend themselves. Okay, I've got three really quick scenarios of what could have happened to cause COVID-19. Three of infinite. What happens is one of these will be chosen, and I'm going to choose the bats because I don't want countries fussing at each other. What will happen is there will be a there will be a scientist, and a scientist has been watching these bats, these first bats, and he's been studying them. And there's another scientist over here that's been studying these other bats, really watching the virus that they carry that are hand that they're giving to to humans. Now this second one, it's just a slight cold. Slight cold. But this second scientist is really interested in in this way that the bats are passing on that virus, that cold virus, to humans. Really fascinated. Spends, spent two decades studying these bats and how they interact and how they live day to day and how this virus gets to human and how it changes. When it's in the bat, it looks like this and then the humans get it and it changes completely into something else. I'm making all this up, by the way. It changed to something else. At the same time, there's another scientist that's been studying these bats over here for two decades. Again, fascinated with every aspect of these bats, every single bit of it, and is fascinated that this that this COVID-19 is in these bats, but they and it's this looks to be a very dangerous virus, but for some reason. It doesn't reach the the uh, humans, and nobody knows why. And these two scientists start talking to each other, comparing the bats. The bats are the same exact kind of bats. Why is this? Why is this that this one passes on this virus 
but these bats don't pass on this virus, and they're very similar bats. Why is that? Why is that? What would happen if this virus got into these bats? What would happen? The curiosity builds and builds, and these creator gods, being scientists, and their curiosity can create this moment in time. Can create this moment in time. Okay? Now, we're going backwards here, folks. Right? Okay? This scientist already knows about COVID. And he's going, my bat is carrying this. How did he get to people? It doesn't go to people. So, in the COVID virus situation, this scientist finds out about this scientist. And they start talking. And they start talking. And he goes, well, I've got almost the same kind of bat. But my virus goes to people. Why does not yours go to my people? And oh no, what would happen if your bats ever brought that to my bats? These are a lot closer to people. These are out in the boonies. These are way out in the mountains. No people. No people. Very few people. Very few people. Don't interact with the bats at all. These are right next to... These bats are right next to Big City. Oh no. What would happen if that happened? What would happen? Because they're creator gods building it on, on fear, then that's exactly what happens. Now you got step back. This bat, these bats, back in time, doing the exact same thing you did with forward time. These bats, going back in time, there is a lightning strike, no, lightning strike on these bats, and these bats start flying around, and they end up going over here and mating with these bats. Now we've got these bats over here backwards in time, one. Okay, so this scientist says, well, I'm going to bring my virus over there. Let's take a look at your bats. Takes your virus very carefully. Nobody let the virus go on accident. And he goes over here, and he starts looking at these bats and I'll be darned they start testing him and yeah this virus is now over here oh no how did that happen so they go back to this one and he's looking around looking around and he finds signs of the lightning bolt so he creates this virus now we create lightning strike that takes these bats over here, and now these bats have this virus, and now these bats are in the city and are passing it on to the people, and now the people in the city that don't know they've got it are traveling all around the world, all around the world spreading COVID everywhere. Now, that did not happen at first, didn't happen at first. COVID virus was in China. That's, it just happened. How it happened, I know, but you don't. But humans have to know how. So they start looking and planning and figuring. And what they don't realize is they're creating the way themselves to prove that they're right. Okay? Which is what will happen is somebody else at the same exact time is absolutely convinced that this bad people attacked with a bioweapon, China, and they will do the same exact thing that the bad thing did, only they will take it backwards and they will create that pathway and can prove it. And there'll be another one that said, no, no, no. China attacked us first. We were just attacking back. And people that believe that will start creating backwards. And all three of these people will have created the history with proof that theirs is the reason why the COVID virus is around the planet. And then they will all fight with each other and it will cause World War III or scientists all mad at each other. Because they can prove their way. And they're not going to look at the other ones. No, I'm not looking at the other ones. I've proven this. And then they go about trying to disprove each other's prove, 
proof, not realizing that they created it. So did these guys. So did these guys. So did these guys. They're all right. They're all correct because they created the proof in their belief system following what they know. I know that it's this way. Well, guess what? You're God. You're right. It's there. Okay, well, how did it get here? I know. I know he did it by this way. Well, guess what? You're God. You're right. You will find it. And if you understood this, we could all come up with a different way the COVID virus ended up on the planet and around the planet, and we could find the proof of it. If we believed it enough, we would find our own individual proof of our own way that it happened, and we would all be absolutely right. I know, this is a little bit harder to understand, but I'm just going to let you sit with it for a while and see if you can... See if you can get there. See if you can understand what I'm saying. Because this is very important to moving up through 4D and 5D. This understanding of how linear time space is created is very important moving forward. <laughs> okay, that's it, guys. Uh, yeah. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for doing the old thumbs up thing. Um, yeah, if you want to have a session with me, just email me and Stephanie will set you up. I'm looking forward to hearing from you new guys. Really, seriously. Uh, you guys feel really, really fun. And I have talked to a couple of you. So, hi, Georgia and George in Germany. Don't you love that, guys? Georgia and George in Germany. We are trained, I'm trying to set up to talk to Georgia in Germany. She is fascinating. Been talking to her for a while via email. And she says that she's learned a lot of English by listening to me. So I'm honored, Georgia, that you were able to learn English from me. So I'm glad to hear that. And I can't wait to um, talk to you. And I can't wait to meet George. So uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Huge hugs. And I love you bunches. Bye now.